All right. Took you for a quick stroll down the road and check out what this night vision is like. Test the eh, not really too happy about the what I'm seeing on the screen of this thing, night vision wise. Sony action cam doesn't loop. around and we're in an industrial park that's not good Tents down from all the fireworks stuff, thank goodness. I got tired of seeing that. I don't buy fireworks. When I buy them, they cost several hundred dollars, and I buy stuff that us and several of our neighbors for miles around can enjoy. This thing doesn't seem to do too bad at this uh, setting. Of course, 
the battery's almost dead, so I've got what five minutes of recording time in. So that's literally all the longer the battery lasts on this thing, and that's kind of not cool. But considering how the bigger this camera actually is, I guess it's not too awful bad. You can get most cameras to do really well during the daytime. My whole thing with this one was how well does it do at night. So far, I don't think it does too awful bad. $23 camera, I don't think it's doing bad at all. Now, uh, yeah, normally you spend a lot more on them than this, but this is just one of those little I gotta try it kind of deals. Wanted to see if it had a problem with the rolling shutter or if it stuttered or stammered between clips or what the deal was. have to say if if what I'm seeing on this LCD turns out as good on the footage when I view it I'm gonna be pretty pleased with it because all things considered it, it looks to be doing a fairly decent job isn't really daytime but considering the hours I'm working at the moment <clears throat> this is the best I can do figured I'd give you a little daytime view of the area through my little driving cam now or dash cam whatever you want to call it Kind of interesting little story when I went out last night with this to do the nighttime video, show what it was like in the really dark and the not so dark and the, with the passing street lights and all. <clears throat> Came out to the end of my road and there was a, you can just see it just for a, just a glint of a second. The uh, Kentucky State Police were over at the rest stop, the actual exit one of in Kentucky coming up 65 from Nashville. <clears throat> and a guy had actually gotten murdered and then the the guy that shot him turned the gun on himself. And it's four miles from my house, from my doorstep. Of course, a couple of years ago, we had a guy just down the street from us had SWAT team running all through the woods behind the house, barricaded himself inside and nutted up, wasn't coming out. Anyway, kind of scary the way the world's going, but that's not what this is about.
figured I'd give you a little little run with this. Now the one thing that I noticed last night <clears throat> I pulled this video off of the memory card in this camera into my computer and it was a low compression DVI video. When you played it back on Windows 7 you could just barely hear anything. It was muddled big time. I converted it over to an MP4 using Xylosoft Media Converter and you can hear everything just perfect, crystal clear. I'm taking the same route that I took last night doing the night driving in reverse and yeah it's kind of night right now it's like seven or eight o'clock about 10 minutes and then it dies now I'm taking a seven minute drive so there's still gonna be time for me to put it right back on the charger and take the stuff off of here menus on this thing are actually pretty simple pretty straightforward they don't always get you exactly what you're wanting but you can mess with them and decide what works best for you just for each different type of recording. Uh, 720p does really well, but I've always been one to want to record in 1080p where you get a better picture and if you want to do things with it, adjust it or whatever, it can be done easily without a whole lot of a lot of problems color correction that sort of thing now I'm not going to do anything like that with this uh, basically put this one on 1080p HD so that I could get everything I could out of it while I'm doing these test runs don't think I'm gonna do a full daylight one because I don't know when I'd have time to do that so <clears throat> this one and the night driving are gonna kind of have to be it but, hope you enjoyed it. Uh, thank you for watching. You guys have a great day. This isn't really daytime, but... Considering the hours I'm working at the moment, <clears throat> this is the best I can do. Figured I'd give you a little daytime view of the area through my little driving cam now. Or dash cam, whatever you want to call it. scary the way the world's going but that's not what this is about figured I'd give you a little 
little run with this. Now the one thing that I noticed last night, <clears throat> I pulled this video off of the memory card in this camera into my computer and it was a low compression DVI video. It's perfect, crystal clear. I'm taking the same route that I took last night doing the night driving in reverse and yeah it's kind of night right now it's like seven or eight o'clock 